Jared Cook is such a weapon. They don't want to help and chip with him. So they have to get him out on the route. And we've established the fact. A little surprised to see that formation when they broke the huddle. Side of him. And he's just going to keep on pushing. Just keep on pushing. Keep on pushing. Just assault the pocket. Max Crosby all the way around, but he was well behind Herbert. But watch him reach back in to get a hand on the arm. 30 seconds. 30 second timeout. Watt has tied Michael Strahan's single season record. Bolton, who picks it up, just darts into that backfield. There's the presence finally felt. And there was nothing good that was going to happen if you drop back and you try to pick up this first inch. Well, I mean, Russell Wilson. First and foremost, got to hang tight on the edge right there. Chandler Jones versus Brown. And then watch right there, feeling complexities to it. But I do know that Darius Bylon has been sensational tonight. And it has been some of his plays in the key moments of the game, making stops that really has given the Raiders the advantage. Max Crosby, relentless, and he's come a long way from... His days in rehab, and he'll openly talk about it, trying to make a difference. Since right from the inside, then it is coming off that edge, and the, the rotation. Sub didn't like what he saw, but it, there was time for Stafford to get this out. But instead, a nice night here tonight. He's going to take their best blocker, Rashawn Slater, right back in and get that pressure that forced Herbert to get out of there. And then Crosby was right there, and I tell you, Herbert was lucky to hold on to that ball. It got really loose right there. Chargers, their weaker side is on the right side, and this time Crosby able to take advantage. And now... Second time out with 49 seconds. Yeah, so many times it's not the sack itself, but it's the pressure that sets up somebody else's sack. Later would hold his own against Ngakwe on the other side, and it was going to come down to this matchup. It was going to be Max Crosby. This time, Quentin Jefferson with an inside move against Matt Filer and it's going to force Justin Herbert off the spot into my jam. And it's going to be all about Joey Bosa and what they're doing on the outside. When they're wanting to throw it quickly, they don't double team him. When they want to get it down the field, they do. And then it turned into a delayed release on the outside by Foster Moreau, and that turned in. He knew that he was out of time. The panic button had gone off, and the bell's ringing as, as Watt goes through two blockers. He went through Tom. Just showing again why he is so awesome at that defensive end position, almost unblockable at times. And we. Wow, Parker. what a difference. Parker is there. Whoa, he brought it back. It definitely, Joey Bosa is the one that got it out working against right. Park. Jerry Tillery inside is going to go to work on Alex Leatherwood. And for Leatherwood, that's one of the problems that he's had. Well, sometimes when a starter goes out, you mentioned Ryan McCollum, 74, the center. Dean Larry's just going to put his right hand right in his chest. Now, this is a nice job by the offensive line. They give him good protect protection. Now, you see what Case Keenum sees. Everyone is locked down. You got guys falling down in the secondary. And it's Check out this little inside move here by Phylon. That was nice going right around that Filer. Filer and Phylon going at it inside. And of course, to get rid of it. And Max Crosby is just a hustle maniac. He really is. You just see the effort on every single play. Never gives up on anything. They're going to have to attack. They knew it coming in, and there it is. It finally pays off. Going against Michael Schofield. Remember that this is a team that had the right side of their offensive line taken out by injuries early in the year. Boucher and Brian Balaga both. Phylon, Jefferson, Quentin Jefferson, those guys are going to have to match up because this is a very strong left side of the Chargers offensive line with Slate. Get something going with Eric Fisher. He's able to to get outside and get push out Josh Allen. Chargers now have got to pick up the pace. They've got Moreau coming across here to try and kick out Nuosu, and he never gets there. A little chip on the outside, and then it was Moreau. These defensive ends have done such a good job of just running these tight hoops. Watch him turn back inside and push the tackle right into the... F Dunlap coming off the edge. The penetration is the key here, right? Two hands inside, get right in the quarterback's grip. There's big Nick Bosa coming off the edge, and 
Actually, Eric Armstead was the one who was forcing. Plays the run. That's balls away in the passing game. Watch Huntley as he drifts right. And he drifts right into number 90, who gets his hands up in the air and knocks it away. 20 sacks. You fall down. You keep working. You scratch. You claw. You find a way. Get Kirk Cousins down and get you that sack. Robert Quinn broke the Bears' single-season record with his 18th sack last week. Now 19, passing Hall of Famer Richard Dent. Yeah, the Raven Clark, the the right tackle. You know he's he hasn't played a whole lot, and so he go up against Basham and Gregory. Look at 55 right there, Chubb. Nice to see him back and, and healthy to play. He's only played in five games this year, dealing with some injuries, but he's the the leader of this team. And, and he was sitting there waiting to blow it up. He's had a great night tonight. Watch Andre James come down and take out the safety, which was really the last piece of the puzzle right here. Good blocking down the field, but Derwin James really didn't have a chance. When you end up with a good player, going to come from back here and try and kick him out, but they end up missing, and Nwosu just blew the whole thing up in the backfield. He came ready to play out here tonight, and you will notice that. He is an improved pass rusher, but he is a dynamic run player. So good to have this guy back after missing last week, Corey Lindsley, the great all-pro center up front there with that double team, and right now you're starting to see the Chargers team that they thought they could be, which is cut back by Rashard Penny. You're going to come right back here. You don't get enough squeeze on that back end. And the rest is history. You're 235 pounds, but you can pick him up and put him down. Outrun defensive it was Brooks. Watch him come off the edge right here and attack the pulling guard. And then his ability to bounce back outside and get Benjamin on the ground. Look at this. His 23rd sack on Matt Ryan. Whoa. 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 Three-headed monster up front. Davenport, big 92. I mean, he just does not quit after the spin move. Great job of really just pressuring, controlling the edge. And as soon as you see that sit down, man, that's where he gets Humphreys on his heels, shakes him loose, gets on the inside and driving the football back. Watch him drive this back onto Humphreys right there. That's the bull rush. You just drive it back there and then you loop around. Hyder just feels that. That's not a design. Yeah, Puna Ford. Now, you, you watch Puna Ford. He's like a fire hydrant rushing the pass right here. I mean, he is he's just stout and he just keeps on pushing, keeps on pushing over Pew right there. Well, watch for Sharp Penny because he's going to get in this hole and once you expose somebody in a hole, look at, you're going to see Thompson come in here but that quickness, that little bit of a jump cut. And the fifth, as you said, sacked today. Kevin, you and I talked about this earlier in the game, but the amount of defensive players that they roll through, that they'd like to bring in, and Leslie Fraser keeps the guys rotating. Yeah, as much as the defensive front for the 49ers have taken over, this offensive line for the 49ers and Elijah Mitchell have started to impose their power. And interior-wise, just nowhere for Stafford to step up and try to avoid his lineman and get the ball. The 33 needs to get to the 36, but a nice run right here. Excellent job by Wilson. Good job by the offensive line, giving him protection and giving him time. Not good by this Rams offensive line. They go play action, slide protection, max protection. They got an extra blocker up there. Edge presence on the outside. There's Dunlap. But this edge presence is really what creates it because you're sliding out that way. So now Dunlop's getting the one-on-one -on, -one on Humphreys, and you see him just power back there off of this. So out, come back around there, loop. You see Taylor put his foot in the ground, and you see that play. Green makes that. Well, watch Van Noy and Judon get pressure here. Van Noy with a little delayed rush. Sometimes when you delay, the offensive line loses sight of you. Kevin, coming into today, the Jets have given up or allowed 44 sacks, and some of it is because of the athleticism of Zach Wilson. Instead of going through the progression. After it gets knocked out, goes right through Kittle. The offense, second down. Just a little loose with the football there, Jimmy Garoppolo, but right there. Whoa, he got through that line fast. Watch him split that double team. You see the, the other offensive lineman going through there. McCoy, like, whoa, 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 where'd this guy come from? <laughs> McCoy's coming through pulling. Right here, he gets, you see him get up the field. 
just not able to. Sneakily has had a really good season. As you see him right over here on the left side, he just keeps making plays. And you look up and you're like, this guy has five sacks. Sorry, there he is on the pick game. He got the help. It's key. Armstead and Ebukam all came in on Stafford. Yeah, four-man rush, and they just do a great job winning up front. You see there Eric Armstead off the edge, and they get the push in the middle. Arden Key right there as well, Bosa. Run it this well. When you control the line of scrimmage, look at the hole that Penny finds as he slides. Starts right here with 55. You're talking about one of the best, Chandler Jones, off the edge. I guarantee you one thing, you got to block that guy. You got to have a plan for him. He gets this plan with a mad motor. Getting to that quarterback and showing how strong those hands are, Gus. He grabbing hold of Dalton. That's a, another sack for the Washington defense. Yeah, James Smith Williams has done a nice job. Casey Tuhill has done a nice job. This is that zone scheme I was talking about. You would see all the guys kind of go to the left, and you see this crease open up right here. He's going to be able to put his foot in the ground, get up in there. That's the that's what you want to do in this zone scheme. You want to get guys running left and right. One guy get out of this gap. That running back find that lane. And that's what gives Smoot a chance to work on this left side where, boy, this left side of the offensive line really has had a tough time. Trying to block him with Jack Doyle coming across the formation. You see him right here. It's a one-on-one -on -one matchup. Kind of with an arm over. Then he just used his strength and his power. Have, have these big 300-pound defensive tackles. Watch the offensive line. We get a double. Zeitler gets up there. Eric Tomlinson, number 85, gets into the hole. The tight end playing fullback. Davis Mills, his 11th start, so that would make him just a sophomore in college after his one year. And you will learn that that time clock goes off in your head, and it's time to throw it over everybody's head. With those long developing plays, they're trying to run a screen. They want to fake to the right and then throw a screen to the left to Evans. And Jadavion Conley just blows the whole thing up. Drew Sample had no chance against them. And that's where you have to watch out. Left side equals strong side. Roger Stafford, Terrell Lewan, one blocks in, the other blocks out. Huge. Watch him dip that shoulder and get underneath Sam Cosme right there. Gets that edge, squeezes it from the inside. He's got some really, really nice job. On the backside cutoff right here is, is Brandon Sheriff climbs high. You get the really nice block to keep the defensive end from closing down on that. A run of 27 yards and whoever your quarterback. Where they're gonna bring Allen, wrap him inside and the Colts. That left side of that offensive line. Watch Lyell Collins. His, his performance in a run game has been inconsistent. Look at Williams, he stands him up and then sheds him to the yeah. side. Here he is right here, just watch him. He identifies at 300 pounds, he sees screen, and then look at the hustle to get out there and make a play. That's great hustle. Here he is, you can see he's moving, and he's able to get through that gap unaccounted for. The guard, Miners, sees him late, but by then, there's just too much quickness. And you know, I, I, a lot of people talked about this. One-on-one -on -one play with him and the middle linebacker, Wade, the rookie, and he's able to win that matchup. He just shakes it. You know, it's probably the aspect of his game that results of the play, fourth down. Watch the inside. Draymond Jones on the left going against Tooney. Goes right through him in 96. Harris just never gives up on the play and eventually gets to Mahomes. That's a beautiful thing in the NFL.